is nothing goes so good if it's your tense now so we just create a model excel response okay model okay here we want to create string file like um, sort of student id name class bench bench age gender grade So this is the model class. So we are just creating a dummy class here. Okay, right. James, so name James class tenth, and this bench is second, and the age is twelve. Gender male. Um, Create A. Okay, so we just replace this for several times and change the numbers to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So name to James. Actually. Firstly, Baham, I, Dubai, Livingston, Bravo, XX. okay these are the list we just created so we are we need to convert this list to a json array so json okay to new json and in the, with this help of json we can get uh, the json array it's like uh, where json array is equal to json json dot um, to json tree okay json tree that model xls model dot get as json array okay we got the json array and we just uh, need to implement the interface over here for using the interface we want to implement the interface over here uh, export interface and just using that function uh, generate xls file first this one is activity uh, we are going to pause that way so we need another two string right string um, string array is equal to string array titles 
स्ट्रिंग करें फर्स्ट वन आईडी सेकेंड वन नेम थर्ड वन क्लास फोर्थ वन बेंच फिफ्थ वन पेज सिक्स्थ वन जेंडर सेवेंथ वन क्रेड ओके दिस इज़ द टाइटल व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू शो एंड अनदर वन इज़ इंडेक्स नेम राइट index name so in this this index name we want to give this exact name same name so we just copy this one student student name name class range range gender grade okay so we are going to pass the title first index name second json or like that and other values is a new hash map we just send the new pass the new hash map and sheet name is student record record and file name is students and count must be zero okay so this is what uh, the file represents so we will get the file over here after that we uh, we did is we doesn't export right now so we just uh, run this application while clicking this we can we will see uh, the file in here storage okay we just i am going to run the application first of all i just run the, run the application just wait for a second to run and let me let me show you how it is working uh -huh. So we have an XLS export. Let's click that XLS export. Ah, I missed that. Don't huh? care. Uh, dot XLS export XLS activity run. Okay. Okay, I have this one and I just click this one okay so let's go to the storage emulator zero Android data this application brand I practice application file DCMA ah, this is the record just open the record opening the record um, yeah see we have the names as well as the grade and the names one two three num ids all those things so see how simple it is to export uh, this one the thing is we can we are doing the dynamic thing that that's the important point over here uh, we don't want to code in all the classes wherever we need to export we just create one interface and just implement sending these parameters these parameters only it's fine to get all those things uh, how hash map works right this hash map i will show you how what is the purpose of that hash map we have some other um things like string uh, in the excel sheet itself string oh, string name excel sheet itself we have to show some other values separately uh, right. uh, new 
guys map let me show you otherwise this dot put first name is uh, record like student record okay student record and place campus city city Toronto okay uh, this is the one we instead of this new hash map we just pause the other value hash map and this one is right this is the count of uh, showing these details in single row or double row in single row in a sense in single row we will not to show if, if i put two and i run the to run the application okay right terminate so click export and then we will just delete the old file it will be confused or we just see the name okay 536 so we just see the new one I just created and sync 536. This one, this is the new one. Okay, well, no. so this is the new one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these two both are not the same. Yeah. We doesn't code for this other application. I forgot that, right? Yeah. Uh, let's continue on this. Uh, how the uh, other details work? Uh, we need to add some more coding over here. So let's check. Uh, hold on for a few more minutes. We will just finish that one. Okay. Uh, instead of before uh, running this code, we have to add the hash map values over here. The thing is, uh, we just first of all we just want to find out uh, the other value map is CMT or not, and the other value map key set is CMT or not. Other value map dot key set dot is CMT or not. Okay, if both uh, both things is not empty, we are pausing inside, and where keys keys is equal to other value map dot key set okay we are getting the keys over there and where i is equal to zero and where limit uh, these are the flags we are going to limit uh, the rows okay so row sheet dot create row so not row index so yeah row, row index then below this um we just need to have for loop string uh one uh, this is just a keys okay keys okay if uh other value map dot contain this, these are all the validations you can understand i think so I just finished it uh, as well as quickly and uh, let, me, let me explain.
those are all we are checking uh, the things i not equal to null uh, not equal to zero the thing is here we are having a i is equal to zero so in the top i is equal to zero so uh, this will create a row uh, the limit this is because uh, we have uh, i created one uh, low lim row limit for uh, in how many items per row so uh, for this explanation otherwise we can you can use uh, this one just uh, take take out my code and use that one it will it quite super for you uh, we, we just create cell uh, in i and set value one okay this is the value and plus plus i we are going to plus plus i and another one cell we are going to create nearby that row dot create cell i and cell cell dot set cell value value not one but this is a hash map value other so value dot get one okay so this is the hash map value and plus plus i and plus plus limit okay this is the count and inside after the for loop we are going to increment the row index and we have we need some space between this and that row row index okay so plus plus row Mm. Uh, this this function will work for those things so I just run that one and the emulator will show how it is working uh, we our output will be seen over here so we just delete this uh, it's a file creator so let's sync okay Yeah, see, so records, student record, city, Toronto, place. This is in a, per row, it is two details, right? So, uh, here, what we have given is two. So, the per row is two details. So, if I give three, it will be a three details. If it be one, just check for one, it will be one by one. Six three six. Okay, this one. See, one by one. Right. So this is what. Uh, it's a quite. Uh, I think you guys like this one. And let me know if you have any doubts in this. And if you need more clarity about shifting the rows, managing the rows, adding the rows, deleting those. It has. It, this this have all the details. Uh, this is the library. This is depends on the library. So the library has all the details. What my uh, our code uh, in is this interface code. The interface will help you to create a dynamic list. It's not about um, the list is called, uh, you want to create in every place. You want to code of nearly 50 to 100 lines in each flag. It will create, you just want to pass this titles and index name and JSON array. You can create a list of whatever like uh, you like that okay so uh, just let me know if you need anything more uh, thank you